Okay, we're back to the next uh, step in this vacuum forming process. I have a piece of uh, 4 by 8 plastic here. This is 60 thousandths PETG, which is normally what I use for most all my canopies. These are pretty big canopies, so we'll, we'll pull one and see how, how it is. If it's too thin, I've got some 90 thousandths in there I can use. And uh, we'll, we'll use the 90 thousandths later on. But for now, the next step is to cut out your pieces of plastic. This is the frame I'll be using. So I have uh, laid the frame down on top of the plastic. It's got a protective coating on both sides. With a magic marker, I have gridded off six squares or six rectangles that will fit uh, the size of this frame. Now, I'm going to pull six. I've got two canopies, one right half and left half. I'm going to pull three um, canopies for each side. Uh, the first one we use for uh, sanding down and putting back on the plug to pull the second one over to get a nice, good, clear um, surface to the, uh, to the plastic. And the second one I'll pull the same way, so that gives me two canopies. I will use the first one uh, as a test to put on the, to the uh, fuselage, mark it out, cut it out the way I want it, so I don't have to worry about uh, scratching or anything. I can get it cut out exactly the way I want it, and then when that's done and I'm ready to install the uh, correct canopy, the finished canopy, I'll use that as a pattern and we'll cut out the finished canopy. So, for quite a long year, many years, I used uh, these kind of cutters. You can see right here. Uh, they do a fairly good job, but believe me, when you're cutting out this many pieces, uh, your hand gets so tired you can't even do it. So, I think a little adaptation. This is a couple of uh, pieces of 3 8 by 3 8 spruce. And I'm going to lay it up underneath here on either side of the line that goes across the cutting just to raise the plastic off the bench a little bit. This is my Dremel tool, and I have an attachment on it, which is a uh, little saw. You can see it's got a little uh, safety guard there, and uh, it runs a nice little sharp blade in there. We can lay it down on the surface. It's got a guide uh, arrow on it, and we can run down here, and we'll just cut this down. It makes it a lot easier, believe me. So let's try making this first cut. So uh, that's a lot easier on the hand. Um, so uh, I'll go ahead and cut the rest of these uh, out, and then uh, we'll get back to you with uh, what we do next.